it's that time of the year again for me. Uh, it's time to extract honey. Now I have a video already showing exactly how I extract, but I thought I would give you a little bit more of a tour around the honey shed. So I have to state, this is not my honey shed. This is a friend's that I borrow each year to extract honey and thank goodness because he has an electric extractor. It saves so much time, but uh, I want to show you his setup because it's actually quite cool. So come on, let's go have a look. This is his honey shed. It's outside his house beautiful roses and this is dedicated just for honey extraction cardboard on the floor this is so important it helps to keep everything clean and you can rip it up afterwards and um, throw it away oh a but a bee has found the honey shed we've got to close the door right so there is ventilation in here and fans to keep you cooled down but you do have to really work in a in a very closed environment the one bee that one bee that we just saw it'll go back and tell the rest of her buddies that there's honey here to be taken and um we don't want that seriously within minutes bees can swarm and just basically it becomes a bee apocalypse <laughs> Ian has a wash basin here, so for washing hands. This is such a small thing, but it is so handy because extracting honey is very messy. And he's got a hand dryer, which I've never used before. Tissues that you don't have to pull a handle to um, pull out, which is great. Hand sanitizer and cleanser here we've got the main workstation so stainless steel trays help to keep the honey contained and uh, it is a messy business you can't get away from that but it seriously does help the job so here we've got a couple of my frames of honey that i've started uncapping and this is what i use and in my other video i have so many people saying Oh, that's an Afro pick. It is not an Afro pick, guys. These are specially made. These are uh, uncapper, uncapping tools. And the way that they work is, let's see if I'll just, if I can do this one-handed, you basically push them under the capping and pull it up. Let's see if we can actually do it over here where you can actually see. It's difficult one-handed, but you get the idea. Make short work of things. Right, over here's another tray. This is my little bucket. This is where I'm gonna collect the cappings into. And I use the cappings in some of my products, my beeswax lip balms, etc. These are my supers filled with frames that I'm going to uncap. And this is the amazing piece of kit. This is the electric extractor and oh my goodness I am so glad that I have a friend who has one that I can borrow because this will seriously save your back. You put the frames once you uncap them into these slots and uh, this spins the honey out and um, a lot of small time or small scale beekeepers have extractors that are uh, kind of hand cranked and they are so much work. So anyway, the, the honey spins out and down onto the floor or the bottom of this extractor. And then you can release it through this. So this opens up. So yeah, so that that's where the honey comes out. And you can see that in the video. And it will need to go through a strainer so you can see various pots and pans and strainers and whatnot that you use in honey extraction and this is my pot so this is going to be filled with honey when I take it home I'm gonna show you what the the honey shed looks like after an extraction so I've just extracted the majority of the honey and it's unfiltered and I have it in that pot right there delish the inside of the extractor fairly clean but it'll need a good rinse out and I still have quite a bit of honey 
to extract over here. So the reason that this is not going in with the main batch is because it's much darker. Yes. So this is going to be a much darker honey and it will also probably crystallize. So go solid and I don't want it to be with my more golden uh, liquid honey. The floor is a mess. So you can see that the cardboard is a very, very good idea. Another great idea is having a wet rag. I've been using this wet rag just to kind of clean my hands off a bit as I've been working. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how honey is extracted from the honeycomb, head over to my video and uh, have a look. Uh, it's really interesting and it is so satisfying seeing honey coming out of that extractor, being filtered and then eventually being bottled. And again, if you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to Love the Greens yet, please do so. I release videos every Friday and uh, yeah, let's stay in touch.